K2 Systems provides mounting solutions for solar energy systems across 130 countries. The company provides crucial support for planners and installers, incorporating tech solutions to ensure a fast and secure energy transition. I'm Andrew Wilson and I spoke to CEO Katarina David from our location here in Davos. I started by asking her about the company and how it drives solar energy. As a company, what are your main goals and how do you play your part in shaping the photovoltaic industry? K2 Systems develops and manufactures smart and intuitive mounting systems for the PV industry. Since the foundation in 2004, we delivered for more than 32 gigawatts of PV installations our mounting systems. Where did we deliver these? In more than 130 countries where more than 100 gigawatt hours per day are generated through our support. How do we do that? We do that with 400 highly motivated employees in more than 10 global locations, all inspired by the energy transition. One key success factor is as well that we as a medium-sized company, but as well market leader in Europe, strongly rely on corporations with customers, suppliers and key players in the industry to accelerate the PV installations and of course the energy transition as well. How do we do that? Our systems are designed in a modular way to maximize application and flexibility. Of course we invest in R&D to bring out economical and sustainable mounting systems on the market. A real game changer has been as we established in the last couple of years, our digital ecosystem. The digital ecosystem consists out of k base our planning software, well known in the industry, the documentation app, and our K2 resource center. So this means we support the whole PV installation process, planning, installation, and documentation digitally. The K2 resource center, I would like to put a glance on is a free, valuable tank of all kind of interesting information, trainings, webinars, all kind of answers which might rise up. Of course, it's free and 24-7. Just to underline that with numbers, more than 1.1 million sessions in the Resource Center has been done in 2023. This means there's really a high demand of delivering answers to all these questions and having them online that the installer is able to do that whenever he would like to do that. How integral are new technologies to K2 systems? Do you have an example of how they help with the operations? As I already said, for us the game changer is really digital technologies to support our mounting systems by digital technologies to realize PV projects faster and more reli reliable. What did we do? We invented a completely digital workflow supported by AI and more and more AI will be implemented within the next years to empower the installer to bring faster and more reliable projects on the market. What else do we do? Of course, you might have known climate change brings more extreme weather conditions and on the other hand, we have a PV industry which is highly standardized. So we invented a mechanical monitoring system and this mechanical monitoring system has its name, the K2 Buddy. The K2 Buddy is your new companion who monitors snow weight on PV modules. As PV modules are highly standardized, as I already said, they might not be as really foreseen for some of the weather conditions. So therefore, bringing a digital help, a mechanical and digital help, to really um, monitor in real time what is happening on the module helps to reduce cracks on modules, to reduce damage, etc. Also that this we see as a sustainable way to empower um, PV installations for long lasting and long energy production. 
So you see, Keiju Buddy, long story short, the first IoT we bring on the market and also it's the first IoT, which is a mechanical monitoring system for snow weight on PV modules. We are really proud of. And of course, this is also our, our way to ensure and in safe the installer bringing really value to the customer. How integral would you say has solar energy already been in the energy transition? It has been an enormous year 2023. If we look at the last couple of years, we see a highly increase in solar installations worldwide. For example, um, the first numbers of Bloomberg NEF for 2023 is a total installation capacity of 413 gigawatts worldwide. This is an enormous number. If you think 2004, one gigawatt has been installed worldwide. So we see how fast PV is increasing. If we have a deeper look into Europe, we see 56 gigawatts installation capacity in 2023, which means three years ongoing, we have a growth rate of more than 40% per year. So, and if we look into the future, into the nearer future, we see 22% of the total energy production worldwide um, generated by solar energy in 2027. And there are, for example, the University of Exeter, just in a study announced that they see by 2050, more than 50% of the generated renewable energies done by solar. So we see an enormous potential. If we are going back into our decade, not thinking about 2050, but really in our decade, for example, Solar Power Europe is announcing one terawatt by the end of the decade and already 800 gigawatts in Europe and in worldwide installed by 2027. So we see an enormous potential for growth and on the other hand, we do need this energy by solar if we look at the demand of energy worldwide. Decarbonization to achieve climate goals is needed. We see on digitalization, for example, also AI, there's a high demand on energy. And to fulfill this demand on energy, solar is the most important column for the future energy transition. So therefore, already now and in future, the potential of solar is so high and it's so cool for us to be a part of this energy transition and to deliver solutions worldwide. So what do you think the future holds for the solar energy industry? Already now, solar is the cheapest way to generate electricity. So, of course, due to that fact, the next steps are enormous. I already mentioned Solar Power Europe foresees more than a terawatt at the end of the decade, which means there's a lot to do for all of us. Solar is already now a highly standardized process if we look at solar modules and inverters. And of course, to get them on roofs, we need to adapt that fast and reliable. And of course, I would like to mention as well that we have global climate change and we need to fight against the global climate change. And PV is one of the possibilities to reduce CO2 production. Of course, we need a resilience program in Europe for European manufacturing to also help and support the European solar industry as solar has this important role in the energy transition. But what I also would like to mention now and bring a focus on is the focus on the installer. We really need to appreciate the work, what they are doing, because there's no AI able to mount solar modules on roofs. There's no AI able to mount solar modules in the, in the free field. And therefore, we really need to highlight and appreciate their work and the potential what is in this field. An important message from my and our side is, of course, we all have the responsibility to preserve this earth. 
to keep this Earth as a livable planet. So therefore, we don't need to waste more time. Let's do it now. Let's act now. We have the will to do it, to tackle things. So let's connect our strengths together and act now. Katharina, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you so much, Andrew.